here and kind of like playing this back and forth game. Like there's something there that, and it's very simple and it's very subtle. And you know, ultimately the results are still really solid. Today's video was brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improvement in your skills too. Whether you choose the X10, the Laser Academy, the Blackbeard, or use them all in concert, they will help your practice be more effective, efficient, and fun. Go check them out, pick up a unit, and thank them for sponsoring today's video. You know, I, I, obviously Adam's a really good shooter. He's dialed in. But like, being, what I want you to start cluing in on is the ability to pay attention and be aware of all these things that are going on. There's a lot going on. We want all that to be quiet, quieted down as much as possible. And one of the ways we can start quieting it down is by being aware that it even exists in the first place. Because I spent a long time shooting with a lot of stuff going on inside this big brain of mine. It's big, but it, you know, because the hat size, but it doesn't mean it's super smart. <laughs> a lot of this stuff going on in there, okay? And I wasn't even aware it was there in the first place. So then I was like, when I, as I figured that out, I'm like, oh, why am I thinking about whatever thing when it's not relevant? And then start tamping that stuff down. And the way I tamp down negative thoughts or emotions most of the time is number one, by recognizing that they're present, accepting them, and then moving on. So shooting nationals, is a stress-filled event. It's exciting. It's exciting to be there in the first place. It's stressful. Some of the most difficult stages you'll ever sh see in USPSA is at Nationals. Love to see you there, Dave. Absolutely will. Haha. <laughs> okay. And I, you get there and it's like, whoa. And you start feeling like the weight of, I'm at Nationals. I have 24 stages or whatever to shoot in three days. And the, holy cow, how am I going to do that? Look at this one. There's three, three swingers on this one stage, and like clearly the activation sequence is going to be complicated, blah, blah. You know, like you start thinking about all that. So you know what I do now that helps like put that all in check? I just simply face it head on. It's like, that's going to be challenging. Okay. I'm nervous about it. Yeah. I wonder why. Yep. I'm nervous. Okay. All right. You just have to recognize that that emotion or thought or whatever exists in the first place, and by acknowledging and recognizing it exists, instead of trying to push it back and ignore it, then I can deal with it and, and, hit, and face it head on. And that helps me through 90 plus percent of it. All right, so here's what I want you to, to be um, starting to figure out. I want you tuning up your awareness antenna, okay? Awareness is purely just that, awareness of what's going on. What's, I mean, it could be external awareness, okay? But especially I want you to be tuning that antenna to the frequency based, you know, that, that, that matches whatever's going on internally for you, all right? Awareness visually of what you're seeing, awareness emotionally, awareness mentally. Awareness is what allows you to put yourself in a present tense place, okay? By simply being aware and experiencing what's happening puts you in that, this is what I'm doing right now mode, instead of dwelling on something that occurred or dwelling on something you wish to be. You simply accept what's occurring, you experience it, and you're aware of it. Now the next piece, once we, once we open up the awareness of what's occurring and we experience it, then focus is what allows us to pick amongst all of the stuff I'm aware of and focus on the things that matter, that matter to the task at hand, okay? And we'll explore this more visually later in the class, but... <clears throat> If I'm being aware of everything that's going on visually, okay, it allows me, number one, to 
pr to recognize ahead of time where certain things are at. For instance, if I'm dealing with multiple targets, if I'm doing transitions, it certainly is helpful for me to know I have a target there and a target there. And I can see them both peripherally or whatever, and I know right from the start where I'm gonna go next, even though I'm focused here. Or I'm aware of the whole target. Heck, maybe I'm even aware of a, of a shot on that target that I'm not happy with. That's okay to be aware of it. But what's way more important to focus on where I want to place the next shot and where my gun is in relation to that. So awareness is paying attention to everything that's available to me information wise. Focus is drawing that awareness into something that's important or relevant to the task that I'm doing right now. So I want you to start applying yourself in that way. Now there's a, there's, there is one caveat that I'm going to throw at you that I want you, I'm, I'm only mentioning it to make you aware that it exists and it can be a potential pitfall. And, and that is the difference between focus and concentration.